Exit polls in South Korea's parliamentary elections show the Liberal opposition on course to increase its majority in a blow to Yoon suk yeol the president. Joint polls from South Korea's three major TV stations forecast the opposition Democratic Party and its allies winning up to 197 seats in the 300-member parliament. Ballot counting is underway, but if the results bear out the predictions, President Yoon looks set to be a lame duck for his remaining three years. Let's take a closer look now with Grace Shin, a journalist, reporter and news anchor with South Korea's Arirang TV in Seoul. Welcome to DW. Exit polls see a big win for South Korea's Liberal Democratic opposition. What does this mean for the president from the ruling Conservative People uh, Power Party? Right, as you mentioned, as many have expected, the main opposition Democratic Party is seemingly winning the parliamentary majority in the 22nd general elections. And the same polls, as you mentioned, the uh, the exit polls conducted suggest that the minor progressive New Future Party also won a few seats along with the Rebuilding Korea Party. And this means that the pan-opposition bloc has secured a supermajority of 200 seats, which could nullify the president's veto power. A two-third majority also means an impeachment of the president is possible, as well as amending the Constitution. And as the general elections are viewed as a report card of midterm evaluation of the current administration, a DPK majority or an opposition bloc suggests that the public has been frustrated with the union administration. And from now, we can expect him to fall into a lame duck status. Yoon will less likely be able to pursue his key priority policies, such as his three major reform policies for labor, pension, and education that have already been on hold due to the DPK's opposition. The DPK may also take action on their months-long threat to launch a special counsel probe on Yoon's wife or First Lady Kim gong -hee over his stock price manipulation allegations. And with the opposition taking up more seats, Yoon won't be able to rely on his veto power to resist bills unilaterally, which may have been what the public wanted as a consequence for the current administration failing to stabilize living costs, solving the standoff between doctors and the government over next year's med school admission quota hike, and addressing corruption scandals. What the public wanted. Tell me, uh, is this not much of a surprise then, uh, these results that are coming out? It wasn't a surprise. From this morning, we have been expecting high turnout rates in terms of voting to pointing to the fact that the Liberals would actually gain more majority in the National Assembly. Also, Yoon's low approval ratings always pointed to the fact that the public wasn't happy with the way he was really managing the current administration and the priorities he's been putting in policies. So as you mentioned, this was not a surprise. Experts have been expecting this. But to see two-thirds, possibly two-thirds of the whole National Assembly be taken up by opposition blocs, this might turn over to him not only being a lame duck, but for President Yoon possibly turning into a dead duck as well. And tell us more about this newly launched party, the Reform Korea Party, which disgruntled voters have been turning to. Will they get uh, much more influence with these 12 to 14 seats? As you mentioned, another main aspect to the elections this time around was that the ruling People Power Party and the opposition Democratic Party of Korea, those are all important parties as well, but satellite parties are also worth noting, including the new Reform Party headed by former ruling People Power Party leader Lee jun -sop. We're currently looking at one to four seats for Lee's party. And another party worth noting is the Rebuilding Korea Party, formed under former Justice Minister Cho Guk, and he's been considered a potential kingmaker in the new parliament as his party's proportional representation support rate rose to 20% in recent surveys, and exit polls suggest that he secured around 12 to 14 seats. And the party is not so much of a third party as it's closely affiliated with the Democratic Party. So as you can see here, we're also tilting towards a more progressive National Assembly. Grace Shin of Arirang TV, thank you. Thank you.